All right, what's going on guys? This is my version of the fix for the Dead Rising 3 PC version that just came out earlier today, at least for my place. Uh, so immediately what I noticed and what everyone's probably thinking is, what's up with this 30 frames per second? Uh, the reason why Capcom capped it, you know, defaulted um, the cap at 30 frames per second is because they say that that's how their zombies were designed. So if you cap it over, you might uh, experience a couple bu bugs. Um, to me and probably to most of the PC gamers out there, we probably don't give a fuck. Uh, th I haven't played 30 a game that in 30 frames per second since my very first gaming uh, laptop bought from Best Buy like six years ago, which absolutely is horrible. Um, yeah, it, to me, even though it is um, so what some people call smooth, you know, when I played uh, uh, in 30 frames per second just like five minutes ago, I I. It just felt like slow-mo, even though there wasn't lagging or cutting. It just felt like it was in slow-mo. I just wasn't used to it. And just a little insight, my I am running this on a pretty high, uh, high-end machine here. Uh, it's an Alienware. It's uh, has dual GTX 780s, all that jazz. I'm not gonna get too into it, but that's just a little something to keep in mind because some people, uh, for some gamers out there, the problem might actually be your rig. Like, you might actually not have enough horsepower to run this game. So, just keep that in mind. Other than that, for those people who want to know how to cap this over, uh, you want to go into this website right here, uh, which I'll put the link in the description box below. And then once you get there, you want to click this. And once you click that, they're going to give you a download to a user.ini. And what that allows you to do is that allows you to cap it over, essentially. It just uh, has this little sense right here that uh, does something to it. I don't know too much about that. But anyway, after that, you want to go into your Dead Rising 3 folder, which, folder, which is the one that has the Dead Rising 3.exe, essentially the file that launches the game, not the file that saves. You got to make sure um, you get into the right file here. Once you get into that, you want to copy and paste the user.ini, and then that's it. Once you launch the game again, it should cap it over 30 frames per second. So, another issue I've noticed is that uh, immediately off the bat, there, it, it, it automatically goes into a low volume setting. Um, even though I go into the setting in game, you know, with all the bars set to high, you know, to max, volume set to max, it's still really low and I have to turn my volume all the way up. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, if you do turn your volume all the way up, if you, depending on what type of speakers you have, like me, I have the, uh, I have a Corsair, the gaming, whatever 2.1 thing. And I have a knob that I could just turn it up all the way. But I can see how it's annoying to people who, who have to go out of their setting and, you know, turn up the volume down all the time. So, to fix that, you want to go into the speakers icon, playback devices, go all the way down to speakers, hit properties, and then enhancements. Once you go into enhancements, you go all the way down and you uh, check loudness equalization, which I have already done. After that, I noticed the immediate. Um, it was a fix, basically. Um, I don't have to turn my volume all the way up. It was uh, where it should be. 